let's talk about adding linear expressions. So to add linear expressions, what we need to do is just basically the distributive property and combine like terms. So let's take a look. If I have 3x plus 2, and I want to add that to the linear expression 4 minus 7x, then I just need to combine like terms. And so that's 3x plus 2. This is a hidden plus 1 right there. So that's going to be plus 1 times 4. Really easy. Plus 1 times negative 7x. And now we just need to combine those four terms. Remember, we have four terms. If it helps you, go ahead and put boxes around them like I did. And remember, the operation goes with the number afterwards. So 3x. Well, there's a negative 7x. That's a like term. So that's minus 4x. And then the plus 2 and the plus 4 gives us plus 6. And that really is all there is to adding linear expressions. So let's take a look at another example. And let's say we have um, 7 plus 2x plus 5x minus 4 that just becomes 7 plus 2x plus 5x minus 4. And of course, you don't need to rewrite it every single time. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. And then we have our combining like terms. So we start with a 7. I like to start at the beginning. 7 and then negative 4 gives us 3. 2x and 5x gives us 7x. Again, you can think of that as apples. 2 apples plus 5 apples is equal to 7 apples, and that is combining like terms and adding linear expressions. Let's look at just one more. I'm going to throw in a little bit of a trick. How about negative 5x plus 2 plus, how about 4x minus Let's, let's actually make that 6x minus 2. Throw in two tricks for you. So negative 5x, again, you don't need to rewrite this every single time. But if it helps you, by all means, go ahead and do it. We've got our four terms here, and you don't have to box them every time. But again, if it helps you, by all means, do it. So we've got our negative 5x and our plus 6x. That gives us 1x, but we don't write the, the 1. The, we don't write that, what's called a coefficient of 1. So we have x, and then we have plus 2 and minus 2. Well, that's 0, and we don't write plus 0. So this whole thing actually just turns into x, which is kind of cool. That mess up there simplifies to x. And that's it for adding linear expressions.